Hello friends, this is Darren here. Before you guys decide to buy a property and to age in place, maybe watch this video first to understand the pros and cons before deciding again. So if you hold a property for too long, two things is gonna happen. First is the snowballing of CPF accrued interest and secondly is the lease decay. So firstly, for CPF accrued interest, it is a sum where you would have earned a 2.5% interest if you hadn't used your money in the OA to purchase your property. Do know that this calculation is based on a compounded interest, hence the snowballing effect. For those that held on to their property for an extended period of time, when they sell their property, there are chances where they need to use their cash proceeds to top back into their OA. This is what we call a negative sale. So to know if you have any negative sale upon selling your current place, what you can do is using a quick calculations using this formula here. If your answer is positive, means that you have cash proceeds after selling your place. But then again, if the answer is negative, means that this is the amount of money that you need to put back in into the CPF, which also means it's a negative sale. So some may ask, then like that how? So if you happen to have a negative sale or do not know how to calculate, you can always drop me a DM or a text, then I can guide you along on how to calculate this value. Then at the same time, I'll also be analyzing your situation because everyone's situation is different. So secondly, I'm going to talk about lease decay. Lease decay happens when the value of your property drops in tandem with the number of years of your property. To put it into layman terms, it's like owning a car where the price of the car will drop in tandem based on the number of years left on the COE. What's even worse is that if you own a HDB, the group of eligible buyers for your flat will string in tandem with the number of your remaining lease. This is because based on the rule by HDB here, if the HDB lease expires before the youngest buyer reaches 95 years old, the size of the loan and the grant will be prorated accordingly. Just imagine you wanting to sell a house that is 50 years old, the people who can buy from you without getting affected by the prorated loan will be 50 years old and above. With deteriorating conditions coupled with the fact that there's limited group of buyers for your unit, just imagine how difficult it is to sell your unit in the future. In conclusion, Depreciating effect of a property is scary because property is a big ticket item. If mismanaged and the property starts to depreciate 1% each year, to put this into context, you mean losing 10k based on a 1 million property each year. Coupled with the fact that we still need to factor in inflation rate of a average 5% per year, this would mean that the annual depreciation of the property is at 6%. To put this into context, it's 60k per year and of course 5k per month. This is the reason why homeowners move every 6 to 10 years. Firstly, to upgrade our right size. Secondly, is to refresh the CPF accrued interest. Thirdly, is to refresh the lease of the property. And lastly, is of course to write on the average property appreciation during every transaction. With that, I've compiled a table to summarize the difference between staying in one place, which is aging in place, versus relocating every 6 to 10 years. Do pause the video if you need more time. So with that, I have come to the end of the video. If you have any questions or queries, you can always reach me at my social media or on phone. I hope that you guys like the content that I'm creating. Do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.